friend, Ryder Christofferson, here again with another First Listen Review. Uh, if you really enjoy listening to somebody babble about music that they enjoy, then this is the place for you, because I'm going to babble about Bon Jovi today, and they have a new album out called Forever. <clears throat> a little under the weather, so please excuse me today, but uh, i got to do this anyway. Um, been listening to this all day, yesterday, all night, um, and uh, I was really excited for this one, because I say without any shame at all, I've been a fan of Bon Jovi since the very beginning, since the very first time I heard Runaway way back early in the day. Uh, that debut album actually has the notoriety of being one of three albums that I own that I have played so much that the needle just skips right across it at this point. It doesn't even play anymore, so I still have it too. <clears throat> um, actually, it's funny because one of the most successful bands I was ever in, the, my, one of my audition songs was Runaway. That's kind of funny. And the singer that we have now that I'm working with, I'm still working with the drummer from that band as well, uh, he auditioned with Runaway, so um, played a few Bon Jovi songs over the years in some of the cover bands I've been in. I, it's like I can tell you the time and place I was, like when Living on a Prayer and uh, you know You Give Love a Bad Name were released, like, so they're like a huge part of the soundtrack to my life. <clears throat> so I've been a fan of um, Bon Jovi's, you know, Richie Sambor, John Bon Jovi, anything they've done separately pretty much my whole life. Um, and I do have to say that the album since maybe these days have been hit or miss for me. I don't know, like the songwriting kind of changed over the years and uh, <clears throat> they shifted gears a little bit there. So some of the stuff has been hit, hit or miss for me. And uh, like the last album that they came out with was kind of a mess. So I was kind of interested in hearing what this one was. Obviously they had that uh, big deal on Hulu with the uh, Thank You Goodnight documentary and I was I watched the whole thing, but I was really like surprised how much they focused on John and his vocal problems throughout that whole entire thing. Just kept going back to his vocal problems. Like so much focus was put on that, and then they showed a little bit at the end of it, uh, him struggling to sing at the end of it, and just kind of left it up in the air because obviously they finished filming this like years ago, a couple years, two, three years ago, and uh, never really knew exactly what had happened. And then you know we got the the single legendary released here couple months ago. I actually enjoyed that song. You know, it wasn't anything um, groundbreaking and it sounded like a pretty much what they've been doing for their singles for the past 15 years or so. I mean, since <clears throat> they tried doing the uh, country album, which I actually enjoyed uh, the last time I actually kind of like that. But one thing that they started developing during that Tico especially is his drumming style changed too. And it, almost like the songs, the one that comes to mind is you want to make a memory. The song just like never kicks in, and they have several songs that like do that. And there's a couple of them on this new album here. Um, so with all that being said, I'm gonna to try to keep this too short, a little short, because I know that uh, there's probably a million people doing this out there right now. These uh, reviews. So I don't want to keep this one going too long. So, but uh, so we're gonna to get to the album, and I don't edit, as you can tell. That's why I'm babbling already. But I already mentioned, you know the first track legendary <clears throat> which i thought was actually a pretty good song you know it's pretty much you know what you expect and we're kind of of course all listening to hear what john sounds like and um his voice has actually changed over the years it's just the way his style of singing probably because he's been struggling with his uh vocal cords has kind of developed a different way of enunciating things and just uh shaping the sound of his voice and that has not changed since the uh the surgery what i did notice is he's got a little bit more of a a rasp, but it's not a bad thing. It's kind of like the just with age. I don't think that has anything to do with surgery. <clears throat> and I did notice there's a few spots here, and especially in the slower songs, where it kind of quivers a little bit. You can tell it's still not back full strength, and you can hear the auto tune. Um, I mean, that's just pretty much what things are nowadays. Everything's auto tuned. Uh, I, I, 99% of the bands out there using auto-tune and the ones that say they aren't probably don't even know what their producers did behind the scenes with it so <laughs> it's just kind of become a normal thing to do a few of the ones like a couple of the slower ones i, I think i would have preferred without the auto-tune but uh, that's just my personal opinion as is all this just my opinion so i'm not trying to start a war here with anything but this is not quite the album i was hoping for uh, it starts out really good. Um, we Made It Look Easy is a good song. Living Proof, another good song, kind of in the same vein. My favorite song on the whole album is actually Waves. I thought that was really good. Uh, they broke a little bit new ground there, tried a little bit different style melodies and uh, stuff I haven't really heard from John before. 
and I actually really enjoyed that song. And then Seeds is, goes back to being okay. Um, from this point on, it's like takes a really bad turn. Um, Kiss the Bride is just. I, I'm, I might make some people upset with this one, but that song was just terrible. Um, I know it's probably intended to be like <clears throat> people think about using that as their wedding song. Please don't. It's not good. It's just bad. Uh, and then the People's House, it gives that. I almost feel like this is like the uh, Keep the Faith reject. It sounds like it was a Keep the Faith wannabe, and it just does not exceed to that level at all. Um, <laughs> that being said, Walls of Jericho catchy i can picture people sing along with this one upbeat however it just didn't really do anything for me it didn't reach out and grab me so i got like three songs in a row that just like man what is going on here and then it gets a little better with i wrote you a song um living in paradise is another really good song that one i would rate that up there really good um one of the best ones on the album i think uh, then there's a weird song called My First Guitar, which lyrically, I don't know what John's trying to do, he's trying to be clever. It came off as a little weird and creepy to me. It was had a cool melody thing going on. I'm in love with my guitar, kind of reminded me of Queen. You know, I'm in love with my car, I don't know. Um, just lyrically, not, not musically at all. This sounded like he was trying to do something clever and it just came off a little bit short, I don't know. And then it ends with a song called Hollow Man, which is... Um, just a really slow, almost sounds, I know he's friends with Bruce Springsteen now, so that's kind of reminded me of Bruce Springsteen, quite honestly, but that's kind of ends with that, and um, so, I mean, it was kind of a, the album is okay, uh, it's got a few really bad clunkers on it, but like three of them are just not really good, uh, in my opinion. The rest, <clears throat> it got good, and then there's two really good ones, so that's just my quick rundown of the whole thing, like I said, I don't want to keep this going too long. Um, but, you know, could have been worse, I guess. Could have been, like, Bounce or something like that. <laughs> that one might start a fight. Um, but, uh, anyway, that's kind of where I'm just going to leave it. Feel free to comment, as always. I'm sure there's going to be some people that do not agree with me at all on this one. But, you know, it is what it is. It's all just our opinions. And, uh, you know, none of them are right, none of them are wrong. It's just what they are. But, anyway, like, share, subscribe, keep some, this music alive, because it's really cool to hear them out there actually doing stuff. I think with his voice getting stronger... Um, hopefully the next album were, will be, you know, the one that we really, really want. Um, just some better songs. I think this, some better songs. I don't know what's, what happens with these bands. They write great songs in the beginning of the career, and then it's kind of like they try to be, I don't know, artistic or what. They're looking for new ground to break. I don't know. And they just kind of, like, lose their way and just forget how to write a song. And that's kind of how I feel with, like, the second half of John's career they got some good songs here and there but overall what happened i don't know call desmond up i don't know <laughs> get richie on the phone see if you want to write something together i don't know i don't know i'm just babbling at this point but that's what i do so until next time we will see you